Hey guys, so um, today I'm getting this mop cut off. Um, actually, I like having long hair, um, but and that's actually the reason that I started growing it out because I just wanted long hair. But you know, then I realized it was a pain to brush, and so I decided. And well, before that, I had decided that I was going to donate it um, for cancer patients. I'm doing wigs for kids. Um, that's, uh, I'm not going to say why for future reference. It's just wigs for kids. Uh, I heard I heard stuff about what's for kids, and so we researched them, and now we know what to do, and so we're gonna do it. It's gonna be cool. Wigs for kids. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, the wigs for kids. We make the the kids. We make them wigs. I don't know if that's their slogan, but it should be. No. Anyway. Uh, so we're going to, we're going to get it, I'm going to cut my hair, and I'm going to get a flat top. I have not had one in a while, and I want one. Clifford gets a flat top every time, don't you Clifford? Hey, sorry that cut out for a second, my camera's weird. I don't know if this got in, but you get a flat top every time, don't you Clifford? Okay, well he gets a flat top every time. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to do that. Oh, and there may be members of the media there, because my dad, he works, uh, he works with the radio, and uh, he told some people about it. So, you know, maybe if it's a, if it's a slow day, um, you know, they, they might. I mean, you know, I don't think there's much you can do in the rain. I mean, the uh, really enthusiastic uh, media people, I hate to rain on your parade, but I don't think you could really do much of stories when there's rain out. I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry, that, that's, that's the truth. That is, is this recording? Okay, it's recording, sweet, okay. And so, um, yeah. Well, uh, you know how these vlogs go. I say I'll see you at one place, but then something happens that's video worthy. So, I'll see you in the next clip. Take a look at that. Fox 5527 came here. I guess 2020 was unavailable, so they sent their people with not perfect vision, but with vision that's okay. Well told us you're doing uh, some charity today. Pardon me? Well told us you're... Uh, it's true, out. Isaac is uh, donating his hair. Yes, that is, that is exactly... Yeah, that little story on it. Yeah, for kids. Well, that's uh, wings for kids, you're right. Uh, and anyway. uh, Clifford. Yeah. Uh, we so we've got we've got two uh, two news making people in the family. Yes. You have you have Clifford who is an event in himself. And then and then you have someone Hi. Nice to meet you, I'm Adam. Nice to meet you. I work with David the Capitol, so Okay. Well we're gonna go into the barber shop now. Okay, so so this is this is the barber shop where I do all of my, um, all of my, uh, where I fill in all of my haircutting needs, and we've been here, we've been going here ever since we moved here, and so, um, usually there aren't people from the news, um, but, you know, it's, it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. It's fine. Right. And um, we got everything we need. I'm assuming. And uh, oh, I'm, I want someone to take the four pictures. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to show your picture in the next, at least in the next couple clips, at most. Yeah, hey, Clifford, you're on, you're on the viewfinder right now. You're, you're on this viewfinder. Well, Isaac, while we get going, I'm going to do an interview with you, okay? Oh, okay, thanks. Cool. All right, well, I see. Okay, apparently I was on the news. Uh, that, that's where it was. Here's the story. A Springfield kid is giving back to children who are affected by hair loss. Isaac Dahl is his name, and he's the youngest son of local radio reporter Dave Dahl. Well, he grew his hair out for several months. That last measurement was about 12 to 13 inches long. But a friend recently passed away from cancer, and Isaac decided to donate his hair to Wigs for Kids. With Wigs for Kids, you can donate your hair in memory of someone, so that's going to be really convenient uh, for me. That's before the haircut. Isaac got his haircut at Steve's Barbershop on North Grand Avenue. He says he doesn't think people will recognize him now without his long locks. Good. Penn Station's been called a few names lately. Yeah, it's, uh, that's pretty cool, if you ask me. Okay. Yeah. 